Seventh problem. In the adjacent figure, ABCD is a square and triangle APB is an equilateral triangle. So, we have to prove that APD and BPC are congruent. See, they are giving APB is an equilateral triangle. So, these three sides are equal. So, we know in equilateral triangle, each angle is 60. So, 60. These three angles are. So, to prove these two are congruent, students, so these two sides are equal and these two sides are also equal and they are telling this is a square. That means this total right angle and this part 60. So, 90 minus 60, 30 only. Na? So, here also 30. So, by SAS, these two are congruent, we can say. Okay. Here, hint also they gave. So, very easily we can write. So, in triangle APD and triangle BPC. AP is equals to BC. Sorry, AP is equals to BP. And AD is equals to BC. And angle PAD is equals to how we will get 90 minus 60 that is 30. Similarly angle CBP is equals to 90 minus 60 30. So that implies angle PAD is equals to angle PBC also you can write. CBP equals to 30. So, two sides and one angle. By SAS, the two triangles are congruent. Okay. Eighth problem. In the adjacent figure, triangle ABC is isosceles. Isosceles means two sides are equal. Na? So, AB is equal to AC. BA is produced to Q and CA is produced to P such that AP is equal to AQ. So, show that PB is equal to QC. We have to prove that. See now, just I wrote the given information and just compare this. Here, hint also gave. APB and ACQ. Just compare. Okay. So, okay. APB and ACQ. The same names. Okay. No problem. AQC or ABB also. So, now here we have AB is equals to AC. It is given. And AP is equals to AQ also. AQ. This is also given. Now, these two are intersecting lines. So, these two angles are equal now, vertically opposite angles. So, angle BAP is equals to angle CAQ. Why they are equal? Vertically opposite angles. So, vertically opposite angles are equal now. So, they are equal. So, by two sides and included angle. By SAS rule, triangle APB is congregated to triangle ACQ. Okay. Now, show that PB is equal to QC is the question. So, when two triangles are congregated, the corresponding parts are also congregant na? equal na? so by CPCT PB is equals to QC this is what we have to prove so hence proved so 
next ninth problem in the adjacent figure triangle abc d is the midpoint of bc d perpendicular to ab and df perpendicular to ac and de equals to df show that triangle bed congruence to triangle cfd so students just write the given information now compare triangle bed and triangle cfd in the figure itself there is a lot of information so bd is equals to cd okay so this is also given now de is equals to df this is also given and angle deb is equals to angle cfd is equals to 90 degrees so here or h is congruence in a right angle triangle hypotenuse and one side is equals to the corresponding hypotenuse and side so by or h s rule these two are congruent so triangle b e d is congruent to triangle c f d that's it tenth problem if the bisector of an angle of a triangle also bisects the opposite side prove that the triangle is isosceles so here this is a triangle triangle abc and here the bisector of an angle so this ad is the bisector of this total angle also bisects the opposite side so ee bc ni kuda two equal parts ga divide chesindi annapudu this is an isosceles triangle ani mana prove cheyali so in triangle abc ad is the bisector of angle bs ad so and also bisect the opposite side na so bd is equals to cd okay so according to the given information that that's we can write now so to prove that this is an isosceles triangle just produce ad to another point e okay so to a point e and now join c and the condition is ad is equals to de okay and condition is ad is equals to de now join c and e okay so this is the construction just to prove so ad is equals to ce and join ce now just compare abd and ecd this both triangles so here bd is equals to cd and abd na this ad is equals to de this is given and this is by construction so this angle and this angle are vertically opposite angles so we can write angle adb is equals to angle cde so they are vertically opposite angles so now you see two sides and the included angle so by sas rule these two are congruent triangle abd is congruent to triangle ecd so these two are congruent so by cpct corresponding parts of congruence triangles are equal so we can write ab is equals to ce and angles also we can write this angle and this angle are equal so angle bad is equals to angle ced okay but in the beginning we told ad is the bisector of 
angle BAC. So bisector means how can we write angle BAC is equals to angle CA. Angle BAC is equals to angle CAD. Sorry, this CAD. BAD is equals to CAD. Okay, but okay, let it be one here. These two are AD is bisecting na dividing into two equal parts. So these two angles are equal. But here angle BAD is equals to angle CAD. Okay, from one. What we have angle BAD is equals to angle CAD. So from these two we can write these two are equal now here two LHS are equal. So two right hand side values are also equal. So angle CED is equals to angle CAD. So in this triangle ACE this angle and this angle are equal. Okay. So, the sides opposite to the same angles are all also same. So, since these two angles are equal, in a triangle, sides opposite to equal angles are equal. So, what is the opposite side of CED? It is AC. AC is equals to and what is the opposite side of CAD? AC. So, AC is equals to E C or C E. Okay. But here from 2 C E is equals to A B na. C E or E C both are same. So we can write A B is equals to A C. How we can write this from 2. So this is what we have to prove na. A B is equals to A C means triangle A B C is in isosceles triangle. Okay students. So this way you can solve this. The last problem of this exercise 11th problem. In the given figure ABC is a right angle and right angle at B. Okay. Such that angle BCA is equals to 2 angle BAC. Show that hypotenuse AC is equals to 2BC and hint also they gave here produce CB to a point D such that BC is equals to BD ok. So first of all on following the hint so just produce this BC produce this BD and join this so produce uh, CB to a point D. So let it be D and join AD. And what is the condition? BC is equals to BD. Okay. Now see here just I wrote the given information. Angle ABC and uh, angle BCA is equals to angle uh, to angle BAC. So if angle BAC is X then BCA 2X. So now in this triangle, in triangle ABC, sum of three angles or is 189. So angle ABC plus angle BAC plus angle BCA is equals to 180 degrees. Right? So what is angle ABC students? 90 and BAC X. Plus BCA 2X is equals to 180. So X plus 2X 3X. If we transpose 90 it will be minus 90. So 180 minus 90 again 90. So then X is equals to 90 by 3. So again 30 we will get. So X is 30 degrees. So what is X here? X Angle BAC. Angle BAC is equals to X is equals to 30. Now angle BCA is equals to 2X. That is 2 into 30. 60 degrees. So 
this is 60 and this is 30. Okay. So, we calculate it now. Now, we have here two triangles now. So, just compare those. Triangle ABC and triangle ABD. So, we know this BC is equals to BD. It is by construction. By construction. Now, this is also right angle. Okay. So, we can write angle ABC is equals to angle ABD. So, linear pair, na, these two are forming straight line. If it is 90, another one also 90. This equals to 90. And AB is common in this triangle and in this triangle. So, AB is equals to AB. Common side. Okay, students. So, now by SAS. Two sides and the included angle. So, by SAS rule, triangle ABC is congregant to triangle ABD. Okay. So, when two triangles are congregant, the corresponding sides are equal. So, corresponding parts. So, by CPCT, we, what we can write? What is the corresponding side? Just till manam fold chest. If you fold like this, AC is equals to AD. Right. AC is equals to AD. So, by CPCT, we can write this AC is equals to AD. Just a triangle manam ila fold chest number. Okay. These two are equal and these two angles are equal. These two angles are also equal. So, that's what I wrote. Okay. So, now just here this is 60 and this is also 60 and it is 30. 30 plus 30, 60. So, that means now in the in triangle ACD all the three angles are equal. Right. So, when three angles are equal that is equilateral triangle. So, the three sides are equal. From figure... How can we write these two parts are equal now? This BC and BD are equal. So, DC is equals to CB plus BD. Okay. And, okay. From figure, CD is equals to BC plus CD. And BC is equals to CD again. This BC and BD are equal now. Sorry, BC plus BD and BC is equals to BD. So, that implies BC plus in the place of BD also I am writing BC is equals to CD. So, BC plus BC to BC is equals to CD. So, 2 BC is equals to, okay, BC is equals to 1 by 2 CD. Okay. CD. Okay. No problem. CD is equals to 2BC. So, here CD is equals to AD is equals to AC now. So, that implies AC is equals to 2BC. So, this is what we have to prove. Hence, proved. So, students, I think you understand all these problems. Please like this video and share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel. So if you want, if you have any doubt, please ask me in the comments. Thank you for watching.